the free software movement shows how globalization can be a good thing. People frequently talk about the dangers of globalization. What they're talking about is a specific aspect or kind of globalization, which is globalizing the power of business. Proprietary software, is, which is often used in many countries, is an example of this harmful globalization. It's harmful because business shouldn't have power at all. If business has power locally, that's bad. And if that power is globalized, that makes it worse. But globalizing other kinds of things may be good. Globalizing something good is good. For instance, free cooperation among the citizens is good. And globalizing that is better. Free software is an instance of global cooperation. One free program is often developed by pe together by people in many different countries and used by people in many different countries. So this is an example of the kinds of globalization that we should encourage. So I urge people to stop thinking about whether they're for or against globalization and start thinking about whether they're for what they want to globalize or don't want to globalize. I want to globalize voluntary cooperation and human rights, and I want to get rid of the power of business. Free software is an example of voluntary cooperation and human rights. Certain specific human rights, human rights in the use of your computer. Now, whether that will help promote other human rights, I won't make that claim. I'm not going to say that free software is automatically going to benefit freedom of the press or the right to a fair trial or end torture or, or make democracy healthy. But it's a good thing in its own right, even if it doesn't solve those other problems. Now, proprietary software is one instance of how certain corporations get and then exercise power. Free software puts an end to that particular form of power in the hands of business. That doesn't mean it's going to eliminate business power across the board. Those are different issues. But it's better to solve the problem in one area of life. At least that's doing something. How would you explain the, the relationship? Was was the internet? How would you explain the relationship between the internet and the development of the free software movement? The internet was helpful. It's not. It was not essential. We were cooperating in developing free software before there was the internet. How how were you doing that? How was communication? Sometimes people mailed tapes to each other. I mean, there, you know, there are various ways. The inter people overestimate the importance of the internet to this. It's certainly more convenient with the internet. Faster. Yeah, but it's not. The internet was not essential.